In this video, we will see how we can install ERP Next Community Edition in production environment. I'll be using Proxmox to install ERP Next. If you don't know what is Proxmox, I have provided the link of Proxmox in the description below or you can click the card above here and you will get to know all about Proxmox. Here is my Proxmox virtual environment. I need to install ERP Next into this, but let me first of all show you what ERP Next is all about. I have erpnext.org. So .com is for the commercial edition and erpnext.org is for the community edition. If you see here, it is good for the service industry, manufacturing industry, retail, distribution, education, nonprofit, agriculture, healthcare. ERP Next includes all the modules which help you to manage your business. So it has accounting, warehouse management, CRM, sales, purchase, HRMS, project management, support, assets management, quality management, manufacturing. You can directly create an e-commerce website using ERP Next and whenever any order comes from your website, you can directly take care of those orders from your ERP. This is considered to be the most agile ERP on planet right now more than 5000 companies across the world are using and these are some of the companies who are already using it this can also be integrated to most of the favorite apps if you want to collect the payment using paypal you can do that also and for messaging you can use slack google for the workspace you can integrate with woocommerce you can integrate with shopify so enough information is available on website you can explore the website and of course i have tested it i have tried it there are many positive reviews of it so this is one of the best open source ERP today, which is free for use with all the features and all the functionalities available. If you want to use ERP Next in your production environment, I will recommend you to download the appliance and configure the appliance in your virtual environment. To download virtual appliance, I'll be going to built.erpnext.com. These are all the OVA files available. I'll be downloading ERP Next and at the same time, I'll be downloading OVA MD5. I'll be waiting for the download to finish. ERP Next dash production, ERP Next production OVA MD5. So I'll be changing its name to ERP Next. So in Oracle Virtual Appliance, you can directly import this file and it will start working, but I'm not using Oracle Virtual Appliance. I'm using a Proxmox environment. 135 virtual machines are created. So I'll be creating 136 virtual machine here for ERP Next. I'll be uploading this to Proxmox. I'll be using WinSCP to upload. Now here is my ERP Next. OVA file. I'll be uploading this to my Proxmox. I'll be opening putty here to log into my Proxmox. Okay, now if I show you the list of files, you can see here OVA import is in my root directory. So I have now erpnext.ova here. So you can find the link of all these commands in the description below. I'll be typing the command two files one is OVF and another is VMDK let me refresh this to see all these files should appear here now these two files are appearing here I'll be changing the name of this again ERP next I'm ready to import these both files one is the configuration of VM and another is the disk of VM ERP next OVF and ERP next VMDK QM command is derived from QEMU, which is quick emulator. And this is a common command used for open source virtualization platforms. And then I'll be doing import OVF. And then I'll be specifying the appliance number. So I'll be creating new VM with 136. What exactly I want to import? So I want to import, of course, erpnext.ovf. So I'll be using local LVM for my storage. So here I'll be typing my local LVM. And then I'll be choosing the format QEMU copy on write. So you will see an error here because we have not yet created the disk, but it has successfully created the VM. So if I show you VM here, this VM is already created now based on OVF file. It has created four GB of RAM, one socket, two core processors. Now I need to import the disk and attach that disk. So this is the disk that I want to import. So I'll be again using the command QM import disk to 136 number virtual appliance, which particular file contains that disk. So it is ERP next dot VMDK, which local volume I want to use to store that disk. So my local volume is prox thin here. Now I need to specify the format of this. So it's QCOW. It has successfully imported the disk. If I go here prox thin and refresh this, this disk 136 is appearing here. 
and if I go to my virtual machine 136 you can see the disk is unused here I'll double click this and I'll click add now this disk is attached to my virtual machine but if you see here again in detail so I have the RAM I have processor I have BIOS display machine type and then SCSI controller is there my hard disk is there but an important thing which I'm missing here is my network so I'll be adding network here add and network device VMBR 0 this is fine everything is okay so I'll be adding I have added all the hardware that is required for this machine to work start machine now let me see the console also here I can log into this virtual appliance host name CTL I need to check Ubuntu 18.0.4 and uh, if I check the IP address, you can see that IP address is not yet available because this ENS18 link is down here. So of course I need to define this ENS18 into the network plan. And here is the list of file and this file contains the configuration of your network. So I will edit this with nano command, nano, I will use with sudo command. And here is ENS18 and it will take the address from DHCP server which is fine right now and I'll just reboot it okay now system is rebooted I'll again enter the user ID and password and enter the IP address and now you can see here dynamically it has got the IP address 192.168.240.242 ERP next is now available to me let us see how we can configure the static IP so we'll go to the file again here apply this plan and now you can see it has applied the plan and now I'm unable to access it so I'll be again going to new session here okay now new IP is configured here so I'll be logging in with new IP if you see here it will not allow me to log in from here so number 13 so here you go so now I'm logged in with new IP address here in this video we have seen how to install ERP next in our Proxmox server and then we did the configuration of network ERP next installation is ready now we will move to the next step and we will configure ERP next we will do that in next video see you in next video